영상의 구성은 다음과 같습니다. 그럼 한번 시작해 볼까요? But in the U.S., aside from test runs from a couple companies like Domino's Pizza and small pilot projects in a handful of cities, they haven't really caught on. But in the U.S., aside from test runs from a couple companies like Domino's Pizza and small pilot projects in a handful of cities, they haven't really caught on. But in the U.S., aside from test runs from a couple companies like Domino's Pizza and small pilot projects in a handful of cities, they haven't really caught on. But in the U.S., aside from test runs from a couple companies like Domino's Pizza and small pilot projects in a handful of cities, they haven't really caught on. So this was another really good video. I, I don't know about you. I really enjoyed watching it. And we found some things to talk about from the video, right? Right, right. All right. So, um, so here is a partial sentence to talk about the phrase aside from, but I have the whole sentence that I can read just to give it all in its entirety. So the whole sentence goes like this, but in the U S aside from test runs from a couple companies like Domino's pizza and small pilot projects in a handful of cities, they haven't really caught on. Hmm. Um, and do you remember what they is? Um, not sure. I think, it, I think it was the, the idea of the e-bikes. Uh, idea of e-bikes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Cause the whole video was about trying to replace delivery vans in urban areas. So when they say right. they, in this sentence, I think they is referring back to e-bikes. So, um, okay. Yep. But the first half of the sentence is all we really need to talk about the phrase aside from. Mm. So before we even talk about the phrase, would you like to read the sentence for me, please? Of course. I'm happy to. Okay, you go. But in the U.S., aside from test runs from a couple of companies like Domino's Pizza, dot, dot, yep. dot. Yes. Dot, dot, dot. So, and just to show that we're finishing up the sentence somewhere else. Right. So, um, how about aside from, is that an expression or a phrase you've ever heard before? I've heard of it, but I never use it because I, you know, I think it, first of all, I don't know how to use it, but second, I don't know, probably yeah. I need more details. <laughs> okay. Well, and that's what we're here to talk about. So yes. I think, cause I think it's good. Don't use a phrase if you're not sure what it means or how to best use it. Because then you maybe end up looking sillier than not using it, right? Exactly. Yeah. So here you go. Um, aside from is just almost kind of a fancy way of saying except from or excluding. Mm. Okay. So, but in the U.S., except from or except for test runs or excluding test runs. So it just means it except for these few test runs, nothing else has been done about it. So mm -hmm. does that help explain it for you? It does. Yeah. Good, good, good. So here's another sentence. And then that maybe clarifies it some more is I hardly watch any television aside from the news. Mm. Right. So what I'm saying there is I don't really watch any TV except for the news or excluding the news. So I would watch the news, but not a lot of others. Gotcha. Yeah. Not necessarily true because I do like to watch TV, but <laughs> good way to explain the phrase, huh? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So, um, and now would you please read that sentence? Of course. I hardly watch any television aside from the news. Yeah. So do you feel like even just the short conversation we've had, do you feel like that Gives you enough confidence to use the phrase in speaking? Uh, yeah, I, I'm getting there, but... You're getting uh, there? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, here are some synonyms. So that might mm -hmm. also help some things that mean exactly the same. And maybe you have used some of these. You could say besides. Mm -hmm. I hardly watch any television besides the news. Gotcha. Or barring the news, which is just kind of a fancy way of saying except. Mm. Uh, not counting the news or outside of the news. So I, I'm sure you've used one or more of those before, do you think? Just besides, yeah. Ex just know, besides. Aside from besides. Oh, that's a good one. Aside from besides. Thank, thank you. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, so you got the idea of what it means. Right. Right. Yeah. So how do you feel about using it in a sentence of your own? Yeah. Before I do my uh, sentence, I have a, a question. Oh, sure. I should have asked you that first if you had any questions before <laughs> we give you the hard task of a sentence. So, go ahead. So, you know, according to you, like, you know, aside from mm -hmm. basically has the same meaning of like, you know, except for, right? Yeah. But which one do you think is more commonly used in a like daily conversation, like aside from or except for? I think in daily conversation, I would say except for or mm. except from. Okay. Would gotcha. be more common. I don't think you hear aside from as often, mm. but it, it could be a close second. Mm, I see. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, and I mean, both of them, they're used to say that something is excluded or, or left out, right? Mm. So television, but left out of that is the news, mm. right? Okay. Companies giving this e-bike a try, but left out of that would be, you know, dominoes or these other, what they said were small pilot programs. Mm. Okay. But another quick question. I yeah. mean, this is not related to, you know, this like a phrase or mm -hmm. whatever, like aside from, but um, have you ever had a Domino pizza, a good delivery? Okay, so specifically Domino's? Yeah, specifically Domino. Uh, I, I don't know, it would not be my favorite. I don't think they have the best pizza. We've had delivery <laughs> from other pizza places. Mm. Um. I think when I was teaching, I'm trying to remember now, we would periodically order pizza for the class, mm -hmm. like for a special occasion. And I think we might've had our pizza from Domino's then, mm. um, but we usually had someone pick it up as opposed to deliver it. Okay. So I thought like delivery is more common, especially in South Korea, you know, United States is huge and then probably delivery service is not as convenient as the one in South Korea, you know? Hmm. I wonder if some of it could be, at least for where I live anyway, the lack of um, public transportation. Mm, yeah. So you are driving your own car. Right. So you're out anyway, mm. coming home from work or running an errand, and it's just as easy, maybe less expensive to stop and pick it up yourself. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. And, uh, we've never personally used it, but I have friends who have something called DoorDash. Mm. Have you heard of that? Yeah, there's a kind of application that you can actually de deliver food and stuff, right? Yes. And I think they deliver from a lot of different companies, mm. right? So like if I want Domino's Pizza, I'd call them up and say, hey, can you send me my pizza? And I probably shouldn't even speak because I've never used DoorDash, but I think that can be from a lot of different places. So they're like a delivery service that goes there to all different stores. So maybe the store doesn't have to employ its own delivery people. I see. I don't know. Maybe that hmm. has to be on my list of things to do is try DoorDash. Because <laughs> then I can speak about it intelligently. Right, exactly. <laughs> and now are all you right. just trying to put off coming up with the sentence? Is that why you asked about Domino's Pizza? You got me. <laughs> I, I needed more time to think about like, you know, coming up with... Like, I, what is that sentence? Yeah. Oh, have you ever had Domino's Pizza? Um, Domino's Pizza, wow, it's been a really long time. Like, uh, back in 1990s, I don't know, it may kind of sound, I'm a an old guy or whatever, but in South Korea, the, the pizza delivery was huge. So really? everyone, yeah, get their pizza delivered and... Yeah, we enjoy pizza almost every day. Not every day, but like once a week, twice a week, things okay. like that. Yeah. Yeah, because I was thinking you could say something like, if you don't like Domino's pizza, aside from Domino's pizza, <laughs> I really like the pizza that is made at other places. <laughs> I should have I should have done that. I should have said that. <laughs> Sorry, I stole it. So. You did. Okay. You can improvise on it though, right? You can... <laughs> Right, right. Okay, here's my sentence. You ready? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. I don't know like, how like these days, you know, test actually works, but um like back in the 
you know, when I back was back in the olden days, old days, yeah. <laughs> Once in a life, no, no, no. Once in a time, no. Aside from a pen and paper, you are not allowed to bring anything to the test room. Oh, perfect. No, thank you. Yeah, that's actually really perfect. And you know what? One time, I uh, this is a side story. I had to take this really very big test for teachers. And um, I, it was honestly, it was everything you should not do in a testing situation in terms <laughs> of like how long it was and all of that. But you, you could bring pencil. I don't think you could bring paper and you could only bring a clear water bottle. Wow. No, no paper on the water bottle. Interesting. But like, what do they think you're going to write answers on the inside of the label? Probably. I don't know. I thought that was a little over the top. <laughs> it was, yeah. So good oh. sentence. You captured the meaning of the phrase. So thank you, thank you. Yep. Okay, okay. 